good morning guys my name is rithik padidar of shri vaishnav institute of forensic science and uh, today my topic is fingerprint comparison so uh, fingerprint is a form of identification as we know so why fingerprint because fingerprint evidence is the most positive investigative means for identifying people's uh, which people the people who convict crime and fingerprint forms and from forms on a person before birth and remain unchanged until the body decomposes after death so finger every fingerprint is unique so it helps us in the form of identification so what is fingerprint a fingerprint is a pattern of friction ridges detail that are comprised of ridges and valley a ridge is high a valley is a depression or low friction ridges are also found on our palms feet and toes so this fingerprint of different individuals can be compared so it is a basic principle so in this image we can see the different ridges and the valley uh, what are the pattern the pattern is a unique characteristics of the ridges and the valley that makes up the print it is defined by the spatial relationship lines with each other their beginning and terminating points the ridge form different patterns and the unique pattern they make the genes from our parent determine the general characteristics of the pattern so fingerprint identification what are fingerprints the fingerprints are recorded impression of the friction ridges located on the surface of the finger what is the purpose of fingerprint identification to establish the identity or non identity non identity of two sets of fingerprint so what are fingerprint characteristics so as we know fingerprint is comprised of different ridges there are there are also known as ridge detail point or identification so this ridge form different patterns so uh, their characteristics are ending ridge bifurcation dots enclosure short ridge and there are so many different pattern that fingerprints they make so how are fingerprints compared the fingerprint are compared by noting the ridge characteristics on two print to determine whether or not they match an identification is established when a number of these characteristics occupy the same relative position on the two prints so fingerprint id be extremely cautious the integrity of the identification process depends on the fingerprint examiner devoting his or attention to comparison of work at all times so we have to uh, we have to keep certain precautions while taking and finger while doing any identification as a forensic examiner so always be certain that the fingerprint have been printed in the proper finger blocks so that uh, we can see the ridge clearly so be absolutely certain of your decision note as many as 150 characteristics can be noted in an average fingerprint so fingerprint should be recorded very carefully so that we can see different characteristics in a finger in a photo in the photo of a fingerprint so how many how many points of identification or characteristics are sufficient to establish an identification so there are no sets of number required so left to each individual fingerprint examiner and deciding factor are clarity of impression so impression must be recorded very clearly or it should be uh, make clear so that we can see the different characteristics and the uniqueness of formation and fingerprint examiner experience and ability so in the image we can see different ridge characteristics so they are the most common uh, ridge characteristics is ending ridge and uh, occasional ending ridge bifurcation dot these are the most common ridge characteristics the occasional are enclosure t junction short ridge and the uh, very rare the ridge characteristic that are so rare to find found are yeah this bifurcation ridge crossing and row of dots so the most common is ending ridge and bifurcation these are mainly found in 90% of the fingerprint so ridge characteristics magnified so this is a magnified image of a fingerprint uh, so here we can see that uh, point 1 2 4 5 are ending ridge the ridge uh, when when a ridge ends suddenly it is called the point is called ending ridge point 8 10 11 are are bifurcation point 3 and 9 are dots point 7 is a short ridge and point 6 is an enclosure or island so this Uh, fingerprint image is magnified so we can see the different ridge characteristics so but how to compare fingerprints 
by noting the rich characteristics in two fingerprint impression to determine whether or not they match so we have to take two fingerprints in my impression to compare them and to compare their basic part and set and I set an identification and an identification is established when a number of characteristics occupy the same relative position in two fingerprint impression तो सबसे पहले अपने को क्या करना है सबसे पहले अपने को देखना है कि कौन सा पैटर्न है अपना इंप्रेशन का तो द मोस्ट कॉमन पैटर्न इज लू 65% परसेंट ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल है बेसिक पैटर्न कॉल्ड लू सेकेंड पैटर्न इज वर्ल एंड थर्ड पैटर्न वर्ल वर्ल कम्प्राइज ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट थर्ड पैटर्न इज आर्चेस विच कम्प्राइज ऑफ फाइव परसेंट पीपल सो हाउ टू कम्पेयर फिंगर प्रिंट्स so second observation would be examine to the line of flow so we have to see that we are starting from right or we are we are taking from left so third third observation should be fingerprint characteristics looking for the most obvious point of identification that what your eyes capture first fourth observation is to ensure the characteristics are in the same relative position count from one characteristics to another and look for characteristics that are alike remember like that inking pressure occupation failure to roll fingerprint nail and scars can change the appearance of characteristics fifth observation is to ensure that the fingerprints are in the sequential order by checking the plan impression with a rolled impression so never known identified fingerprints using only one finger this will help eliminate errors flat or plan impression text simon tesley give the true or better reading of how the ridges actually appear so these are the image of the not fully inked or rolled fingerprint impression so basic things we have to remember while taking the finger while doing the fingerprint identification that are looks for the obvious characteristics utilize the entire fingerprint never base your decision on the scar and never known identified known ident by one finger only ensure sequence is correct and enable when not 100% positive of decision utilize existing enhancement tool take sufficient time to process avoid distraction and be aware of compliancy maintain good work habits so thank you